Let's go. So I'm going to show you how to spice up your worship play when you go into your six. So there are different ways you can do. You know, a little song land on your six. You know, when you're playing, for example, uh, we give you. So, oh, we give you. Oh, you see, land on your six. We worship you, you. You. So if you take it again. So I'm um, sure if a few ways you can uh uh you know try to move around your six. So I'm playing on the key of F and I'm using number patterns. Please subscribe if you're just joining and it's a watch the spice up for your six anyways so when you have a song that uh that lands on your six or any progression let's say you're playing a song next is one four one okay one four then six then five you can do something like it so i'm just gonna show you so the first one you can do is you can use a passing chord, passing chord which is your Z chord, Z, but then this this chord is made up of your three, your flat six, and your seven. You can do this to your six. We're coming. This is more like at the beginner. Then we will go to advanced, make it more advanced. Then we'll go to a legend and more difficult aspect of it. So this is very simple method. A lot of people use. You see, so it's, it's very simple. You can actually add your nine to so so you see you say it. So on your you suffer not to be your me z t and your re so you get to sick. But then now let's spice it a little. Uh, if you want to be an intermediate player, you should do something like we. Uh, so you try to do something like an prego. You see what I did? Instead of just holding the chord, so prego is just trying to move around it. So something like. This. You're just moving from your left hand, you're playing your three flat six seven, then right hand three flat six seven nine. Then try to make sure you do this within the time frame for when you're going to go to your six so that you don't go. So we give you, we are, you see, oh, oh, it's very simple. So for your six, it's ideal you use this for the six three six eight. So it's easy although you can use your normal six um your six eight ten it's still okay but then you just make it more easy so we give you so oh, that's the first one it makes you kind of sound cool uh so we give you the apprego pattern. I'm not really interested in this other half. I'm not interested. So now another thing you can do to advance this plane is uh, try to do something like a flip note. We, we, is our, okay, let, let's not do the flip notes yet. Let's do all the, some notes just within. So remember we just do the chords. We started with the simple chords, then we play the apprego pattern. Now let's try the notes that are really associated with this. So you can do we so you can just see. So from here. So yeah, 
there are notes so you have your you see the notes there from your three to your nine you have four flat five five flat six six plus seven seven eight flat eight eight flat uh, nine then you have nine so you can do instead of this you can do we you see so i played around this guy so it's more like an apprego so do we so now i'm trying to do more like a chromatic movement we so you see we give, we give. Depending on the situation. Oh, should I, should I? Hello, yeah. Remember, do it in a way that it doesn't cut off the timing for the next one. If it stops here and you're in the timing, go on it. See. You come back to your six, so all this can give you a very good spice up when you go to your six. So you can decide to go the simple chord way. Uh, we give you all, all. we give you all, we give you all. Then you can still do the apricot pattern. We give it. I think a lot of people. We give Then you can still do the crazy chromatic. We Now you can get creative about it. Apply a lot of things if you want us to get it. So you can do something like this when you want to get creative. We so we you see what I did now. Huh? There you go. So depend on what we Now you can do the back flipper. This is high turn. We give you So it's like this. We Trying to make it look more easier. Okay, let's do this one. Let's try these three chords together. Your six, seven, ten. Then you now do. So you do six flat six, six flat seven, seven, seven flat seven, six. Flat six, so six flat seven 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 flat seven six flat six. So you can do it two times. So do the six flat seven seven two times, or three times, depending on how fast it can be. We give so we give. Uh, 
So this is going to help you to you know do some movement to your six. You can apply to other songs. The same rules apply. You just have to be very careful within your timing so you don't go off. That's it. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you really find this interesting.